Some of you might not know this, but I absolutely love Blocks Fruits. So you know what? It's about time that we actually build something from Blocks Fruits in build -about. Now, after some thinking, I know exactly what I want to make. I want to build the Awakened Dough Fruit from Blocks Fruits in build -about. Because, dude, imagine, like, destroying and ripping through literally every block as you're rolling around the map. Dude, that sounds amazing. So, yeah, that is what I want to do. But I have a bit of a predicament. Pretty much the actual Dough Fruit in Blocks Fruits it has like this cartoony color to it. And honestly, I don't really know how I can add that. I think I might have an idea, but it's gonna be pretty tricky. Uh, it's, uh, is that it? Now, you guys might be wondering how exactly did I do this? Pretty much, I just have uh, like two different cubes. As you guys can see, there's one cube and there's another cube right here. This is just a bunch of cubes stacked inside of each other that are actually transparent. And pretty much when you actually stack all of these cubes together, as you can see, it looks like it's not transparent. You can kind of very slightly see through it, but it's pretty much like, pretty okay. Now, when you put that other 25% cube on top, it gets that effect, but it's, like, not super consistent. And I think with a build that's gonna have a lot of details, I don't know if, like, it's gonna be too glitchy, man. It's a cool effect, though. I, I, I might use that later at some other point, like, in, like, a different build. Now, for a skill, that seems pretty good. Also, guys, like I've told you many times before, if you actually clone your blocks 13.2 blocks apart, you're not even gonna really have to do any kind of smoothing out. It's gonna be exactly one block the, uh, the size. So, let me show you exactly what I mean by that. If these blocks are 13.2 blocks apart and actually start cloning these and rotating them if with 15 degrees as you can see it is a perfect connection right there so I don't really have to do any kind of scaling and any sort of that stuff it makes it way easier to build on now what i'm gonna do next up is because this thing has to be round i'm gonna have to build another circle now this one i am gonna have to customize okay, that's too small of a hole in the center i think that's pretty good yeah all right now this needs to turn into a circle somehow all right so yeah this is exactly what i avoided with the top but i am gonna have to do it here because uh, yeah, if I don't, it's just gonna look terrible. All right, then time to clone these so that we have pretty much like a circle that's gonna go around in a circle. But first we need to make this circle because otherwise we can't make it go around a circle. I don't know if this is making any sense. This is this, this is a pretty confusing circle to make. Yeah, just like that. As you guys can see, uh, that's now a circle. Of course, it's a circle. That's the pretty easy part. Um, Gonna have to do that one more time. But yeah, then we're gonna clone that around like that. And that way we should actually get a donut. All right, baby, there it is now. I'm a little bit scared. I might actually want to try doing the effect that I was talking about earlier. I just don't really know how I would do it on this scale. Actually, I don't think it's going to work because a lot of blocks are going to glitch inside of each other. I'm just going to give up on it. One thing I'm not going to give up on, though, is the mechanics. I actually think I have a really cool idea of how I can actually build this. So to make sure that this thing actually rolls really well and extremely fast, I am going to use wheels. Now, I'm not going to just drive this thing around like a car because that would be... I mean, that would honestly be a crime. If I did that, you guys would deserve to uns unsubscribe. Like, that would be awful. So what we are going to be doing, making sure that the wheel just slightly sticks out below the actual block right there, just like so. Just like so. All right, there it is. Now, this might look a little bit strange. Keep in mind, the wheels are pretty much going to be invisible, okay? Like, let me just be honest with you for a second. We're going to have to paint this thing. And uh, I'm getting a little bit worried now because it's like, if I make this thing only white, kind of like the original, I'm not going to have, like, any contrast. It's just going to be all white. Like, that black outline really does a lot. All right, you know what? I'm going to try it one more time okay i've said like i'm gonna do it i gave up on it i'm gonna do it like five times this video i'm just gonna try it one time i'm gonna see how it's gonna look with the cartoony effect even though of course this build is it's gonna have a lot of detail which i i get a little bit worried about but you know what how are you ever gonna know anything if you don't try it out you know what i mean all right so what i'm doing right here is i'm oh what the heck uh that's kind of terrifying <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm actually scaling in the blocks right here. So this side, it's a little bit less thick than over there. So this is going to be the white. The outside, it's going to be the black. If the effect works, it's going to be amazing. If it doesn't, it's going to look absolutely terrible. Okay, this dude is... It's, sorry, but you're you're kind of making things confusing. Um, All right, so the, the one on the left here is very slightly thinner than the one right here on the right. So this one, this one's going to be completely white. Or is it gray? Okay, this is not perfectly white. It's very white, though. It just gives like a little bit more like detail and stuff. It looks a little nicer. All right, there you go. And then this one's going to be black. Black as black can be. All right, then let's clone this thing. We're going to clone this, I think, like six times or something. All right, then here we go. That's a bunch of blocks inside of one another. If we select all of these and set the transparency to 25. Okay, it's already looking a little bit glitchy. Oh, it makes me nervous. Okay, this one's going to be 25 as well. 25 transparency. Okay, dude, I'm just going to do it. Ah! 
Come on. Okay, that I mean, it's kind of a vibe, though. Like, as you guys can see, from, like, a specific angle, it's got the exact effect I'm looking for. But did I do it the wrong way around? No, right? Yeah, guys, it, it's not gonna work out. All right, well, I'm, I'm just gonna drop that there in the void. I'm, I mean, yeah, it, it just looks way too busy. So, yeah, instead, I'm just gonna make it not pure white. I'm just gonna make it very, very white. Just, like, almost white, just slightly gray. And just for fun, I'm gonna make those green. <laughs> because I can! They're gonna be invisible. Who cares? All right, I covered the whole thing in a block. So yeah, now we should be able to start cloning it. All right, it's starting to get a little bit laggy, but so far it's actually okay. All right, now we have everything went according to plan. Should actually have a donut here, but not just any donut, an actually really good looking one. <laughs> also, we should have a bunch of wheels, so it should look a little weird, but yeah, there's the wheels. That's kind of what I expected. Oh, okay, 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 wait. So there's just too many wheels right now. You know what? I'm just gonna delete the wheels, like all of them for now, bro. Look at that donut! Dude, that looks so good! <laughs> Dude, that actually looks amazing. Dude, and it's smooth as well. Like, actually looks really good. Oh my god. Okay, that is amazing. Now, the reason I'm actually gonna completely restart is because I realized I forgot to add something very important. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that, that stuff is still garbage. Get rid of that! But on this side, as you guys can see, we've got the wheels still in place. And yeah, one thing that we're actually gonna have to add in is, uh, first of all, we're gonna need spikes uh, for visuals. And also, we're gonna need, like, actual spikes to spike things. So yeah, if you were wondering where the spike blocks are gonna go, we're actually gonna place them right there and there. And yeah, just like that, perfect. So yeah, when we clone that all the way around, there's gonna be pretty much spikes sticking out the entire way around, and it's just gonna be constant destruction. Now, that's the actual spikes done. How are we gonna make the spikes look good? Like, spikes that stick out of the side. And honestly, I haven't really thought of that yet. Previously, when I've worked on, like, spiky things, I've used harpoons. I wanna see if the scale of those is even, like, remotely good. Okay, you know what? That might actually still work. It's gonna be super close, though. You know what? Oh my- Oh! Brother, that looks amazing! Okay, we're, we're gonna have to put it in the center. Right now, it's like way off center, but- Bro! Oh, dude, that actually- You know what? I didn't think it was gonna look that good, so I'm gonna take that. Now, you can kind of see- I can move it a little bit, but I really don't want anything to stick out on this side because that would look really bad. So, since this is gonna be all like black anyway, yeah, I think that will look fine. Oh, dude, that is so cool. Now, we're gonna have to clone this thing. <laughs> I'm just gonna make everything visible. So that's where the harpoon is at. We're gonna have to somehow rotate it to the other side. All right, baby, there it is. Oh, that is, that's amazing. Now, as you can see, there is ever so slightly something sticking out the bottom. I think I can live with that. I mean, I can fix it though. Like move it by 0.1. Yeah, you know what? That's a little better. Yeah, now you can't even see it. All right then, now I'm gonna clone this to the other side. Okay, dude, this thing is a little more, bro, this thing is a little more confusing than I thought it was, man. Oh my God. All right, then there it is. That is, I think the whole thing done. Yeah, dude. Oh my God, dude, that looks Dude, this is gonna look so good. <laughs> Just needs a paint job. Okay, now I'm gonna clone this thing for realsies. Actually, wait, you know what? I'm actually gonna go ahead and make everything transparent beforehand because, dude, doing this afterwards is gonna be nearly impossible. All right, then, everything's ready. Let's get cloning. Bro, dude, this is such a complicated clone. <laughs> Dude, there is so much stuff just kind of like freaking out right now. It's not even funny. But I think we're almost done. Come on, that should be it. Yes! Dude, look at this thing, man. Bro, that's amazing. Dude, that actually looks like the dough fruit. Are you kidding me? Okay, now I'm gonna... Okay, I deleted something just now. What did I delete? Okay, there's a lot of stuff here. You know what? I'm actually gonna just make everything visible again. I, I just made everything invisible. I'm gonna make everything visible again. I cannot see what I'm doing. All right, I deleted some wheels. So as you guys can see right now, the wheels are in place. And one thing I'm a little bit worried about is that actually, uh, yeah, I think I think the spikes might have glued down the wheels. But hey, we, we, we can figure that out later, right? right? Let's hide the wheels. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna move the wheels out of the way for now. Yeah, I'm gonna have to separate all of these individual elements because if I don't, it's simply, it's, it's just simply gonna get like glued together. And yeah, I, I don't wanna like ruin the looks of this thing. All right, boom, there it is. So that right there's all the spikes. That right there is all the wheels. So that's all the mechanics for breaking things. And those are all the mechanics for like rolling around faster. It's just gonna be, honestly, a little bit of a speed boost. It's mostly gonna just be for looks. But yeah, this is right here. This is something. <laughs> I think I'm gonna wanna... Do I wanna alternate? All right, I just made sure. And the original also doesn't alternate, so I'm not gonna alternate them either. So yeah, that's that right there, man. And that actually looks so freaking good. All right, so these all need to be collision off, just like so. Perfect. And I think with that, we should actually be ready to do this. Oh, also, one more thing is I think we're actually gonna have to make all of those collision off. And invisible, of course. Also, I don't really wanna be able to control the spikes themselves. Actually, should I? It's not gonna mess with anything. You know what? I'll keep the spike controls just because it's funny. All right, there it is. So that right there is gonna be the seat itself. Gonna make that invisible. And that right 
right there should be the entire build finished, baby. All right, so all we need to do to actually uh, assemble the whole thing is move that in place. So now we got the spikes and then just simply grab our wheels. Oh, wait, those need to be invisible. All right, I think, I think we're done. <laughs> Do this thing. Okay, you see how it's actually rolling super weird right now? Uh, that's because the wheels are spinning the wrong way. If we select all and actually reverse the spin. Yeah! Oh, he wants us to test it on him? Lava, this might be a bad idea, buddy. Oh, this is a bad idea for him. Here we go. Wait, why is it still spinning weird though? Oh, I just touched him. Oh my God, I just touched him. Bro, we are... <laughs> We're just melting his build. Here, actually, let me unhide everything. Okay, so we are rolling on the wheels. Oh, okay, so everything is working properly. It's just weird. Wait, what if we up the torque? Oh, yeah! Okay, that was the problem. The torque was the problem. Oh, my God. Dude, it works so much better now. Oh, my God. Dude, we can actually, like, really control this thing. Look at us go. Oh, my God. And yeah, we can, like, even probably climb this if we had the right angle. Come on, baby. There it is. Okay, well, we're going to have to, uh, you know, reassemble because this looks terrible. <laughs> All right, so we're going to have to make the changes here. We're going to set the transparency to 100. We're going to set our wheel torque to max. And we're going to set a reverse spin on. Now, one thing I was kind of thinking about is that we could actually go even crazier with the speed. We could double up on the wheels. But I think if we do that, it's going to get very glitchy. So let's pass up on that for now. All right, then there it is. This right here should be my perfect creation. Oh, yeah, baby. Yes, sir. Come here, buddy. Woo! You're not going to get away from me. <laughs> Oh my god, dude, we're melting this thing. Get crushed! Oh my god, what just happened? It just freaking exploded, man. Oh my god, dude, I love this thing. <laughs> Dude, I feel so evil. Come here, lava. Wait, wait, actually, I can still do this. Oh my God, dude, my hidden move. Dude, that's not even fair. Ah! Oh my God, dude, we just, we just launched a thousand spikes. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Dude, we just destroyed his whole bike. Dude, we just destroyed him probably too. Yeah, we just killed him, man. Okay, man, I, I messed up real good. Well, uh, the spikes are looking a little weird. Oh, he's trying to run away? No, you're not. Die! But actually, did I just harpoon myself? I just harpooned myself to the ground. Oh, God. Wait, I'm under the ground. Wait, how did I kill him? Dude, I'm stuck underneath of the map right now. Wait, no. I'm gonna die. Oh, my God, dude. <laughs> Well, I guess that's something that would happen with the dough fruit. 